Hotel Management Company. Uh, we operate four brands currently, um, principally out of the UK, uh, where we've got uh, um, four and a half thousand bedrooms in London, and we're London's largest owner operator of hotel rooms. Um, we also have um, uh, interests in China and Malaysia as well. And uh, yeah, we're a fairly traditional hotel company in that regard. Um, operating, as I say, four brands, um, that's where we are trying to differ from our, our competitors. We're actually in the process of building out new brands to offer uh, customers and hotel owners something different in the marketplace and, and start to try and disrupt uh, the traditional hotel management model um, for the operator and to disrupt and enrich the customer's experience uh, for people who use hotels. It's a wonderful surprise. To me personally, it means um, a great deal to be recognised for the, the work that I've done in a very short time of just trying to elevate uh, the, the concept of APIs within our company and within our industry. Um, and that's, that's, yeah, that's very flattering for me. I think for me, evangelist and enthusiast are, are very much the same thing. And it's easy to be enthusiastic about something that you truly believe in uh, and you see the benefit from. The API, um, to me, represents an opportunity for defining the independent variables in all of our processes, in all of the experiences that we're trying to put together in a way that they then become like a chemical element, that you can then reassemble them in different guises, different ways to make this, this different product, but, but is, is, is built from the same blocks and we can save time. The converse side is in actually then trying to identify what those independent variables are. We start to, with the business partners that we work with and with our colleagues who are the domain experts, they understand housekeeping, they understand uh, reception, they understand food and beverage. But what we actually are, are getting to is we're getting to a point where we can codify what their understanding actually means. We use English as the common language, we're not trying to you know, get all technical about it, we're just using English to describe it. But we're starting to break through some of those walls of constant exceptions. Oh, it works like this, but, it, and, and, and we can actually start to expose this myriad of exceptions that don't make any sense, but because they're each individual's interpretation, we can start to work through it. So, so that's what APIs are. They're a great way of talking to people about what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and how they would like to do things differently. And then they, they give us, from a technical point of view, that independent variable that we can then reuse in, in new constructs. Apogee provides a brilliant platform to actually physically run our API um, on. And, uh, that's been instrumental in, in making sure that when we have tried, that we haven't been pulled back by little small snags and you know, it works. Uh, so from a technical point of view, that's great. And, I was talking to somebody just a little while ago. You know, when we first turned it on, uh, the API that we started with was our availability API. So it's, it's, it is the most common question that anybody will ask a hotel question, uh, a hotel. Do you have rooms on these nights? So we found uh, uh, a nice, uh, very uh, collaborative travel agency that wanted to work in this kind of way as well. And from what we understood of them when they were offline and they wanted to go online, and they wanted it, they were happy to use a, a REST API to do that. We thought we'd get 100 calls a day, and that would be it, based on what we could see in any other channel. And we turned them on, and we got 150,000 calls every day, seven days a week. And it's absolutely drumbeat, but it, it, it took us completely by surprise. Now, the great thing about that was with the Apogee platform and with the monitoring uh, that we were talking about you know, in the, the keynote this morning, it was instant, we could see what was happening. And then with the tools, spike arrest and quotas and all of that, just well thought out, well structured stuff. You know, Apogee gave us a platform where we could turn it off, to be honest, regroup and then turn it back on a couple of days later. And we didn't take a back end system down. We didn't cause a problem anywhere else. We, we learned something. We iterated around it really quickly, and then we got back into it. So that's it from a product point of view. The, the other thing that Apogee provides us is, is really great guidance. We, we've got uh, a, a great Apogee uh, partner, uh, individual called Ozan, who works with us on a weekly basis. And the guys, the team that are now the API team, really respond to the open, collaborative way that Apogee works with us. 
They don't force us down a path or to an agenda, that certainly nothing that we can detect. It is just, you know, this is digital. This is something that everybody should benefit from and would like you to benefit from. Apogee was actually brought to us, the, the technology team, by the business. Uh, we ran an exercise in 2012, and this is again where our CEO, Mike Denona, came in to, to his own. He ran a competition, three teams, all with business people and, and, and domain experts in there. Nobody from our, the internal IT department were on those teams. And they were given a, a, a common problem statement. You've just been given to the keys to a new hotel. You've got seven days to open, put the systems out there that you would want. So they found Apogee for us um, and they went through the diligence and, and we went through it before we, we got into final contracting. But uh, Apogee was something that they understood and I think it was the way that it was presented, it was the use cases, it was the customer base and the way that Apogee engaged that all of that was done for us. So it was yeah, great, nice little bow round it and off we went. Because they are brilliant. They work so quickly, they get so many conversations started they are simple enough for everybody to understand. They're technical enough for those people that know how to use them to make real inroads and real developments. And it, it answers that question of how can I get all of this information to work together and, and to be useful in ways that you know, we definitely know we want and those ways that we haven't seen yet. So that, that's why I love APIs. They're just, they're simple, but they work.